Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get, do kind of a tackle, tackle it all um, with dream video, but it's gonna be based on cleaning. I have some cleaning to do. I have some pumpkins to paint. Um, and I just came back from the grocery store, so I will do a quick grocery haul. So I went to Aldi, and then I also went to my local gro grocery store, Albertsons, and I'll show you guys everything that I grabbed. So Aldi is first, and I am in the kitchen. You can see there's like dishes behind me. I got work to do. So um, I grabbed one of these flatbread barbecue pizzas. We absolutely love this. It is extremely yummy. Um, if you are an Aldi shopper, I would grab these and um, test them out. For my hus hubby, I got these chocolate bars. There's a dark, dark sea salt, two of those. And then these will last him forever. They're huge. And then one that's just a dark chocolate. And these are 70% chocolate or more. I picked up a, cute, a few of these quick, easy meals. So this Thai style chicken. Um, I have, uh, this one is a coconut. So I have two of these. So quick, easy meals for my husband to do for work. And then I have this barbecue Korean one. It's dark in here. Let me go cut on the light. Better? I feel like it's not even better. <laughs> oh, well, let's keep going. And then for my kids, I got these little ice cream sandwiches. I got a, a little small thing of Gatorade from Aldi. For my kids' lunches, my son starts um, Homeschool. Today is Sunday. He starts it on Monday. By the time you guys see this, it'll be on Thursday. But I have some chips for there so he can make his lunch at home. Not homeschool, virtual school, whatever it's called. Online learning, distance learning. Um, I picked up the shell and cheese uh, from Aldi for quick, easy lunches for my son while he's home. And then I picked up a ton of these. My husband loves them. They're the Black House Blend Modern Times. They're their coffee cold brew. And um, I picked up these two kinds from Aldi. And these are his absolute favorite. They're about $3.69 per, per can. So I picked up nine of those. And then to jazz up our water, I picked up this little fruit punch. You can see it. And then this one is orange tangerine. My son loves orange, so I picked up that. Lemon for my water, so I'll actually drink it. My husband likes to take these to work. I like to pack these in Brooklyn's lunch. It's the little prosciutto trays. And then some frozen vegetables. I love the broccoli. Um, some hot sauce, some brats, links. We've never had this before, but I picked it up for my husband. It's these little um, keto ice creams. So I picked up this one, it's cookie dough. And then this one, it's peanut butter fudge. And the kids will eat those too. And then some cinnamon rolls to make for my kids and biscuits. I love biscuits. Some shredded Parmesan cheese. I love this fresh stuff. Um, some whipped cream. These little mozzarella balls. Brooklyn and um, the kids. Brooklyn loves these and my husband loves these, these little balls. A few steaks for the fam, you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I do not eat any red meat. I barely eat meat. I do eat chicken and then seafood. But, um, so steaks, everybody else eats meat, so steaks. And then more frozen vegetables. These are just super duper easy, especially after a full day of working, I can just throw them in the microwave and they're just really easy. And they don't go bad because a lot of times we'll buy fresh things and they just go bad. 
So, quick little Cheez-Its snack packs for lunches. Some oranges. A Asian chopped salad. Some goldfish. Everything bagels and little non to make little mini pizzas that I'm gonna do one day. And then I picked up two of these sparkling waters. Our favorite flavors are tangerine and the lime. And then from my local grocery store, I picked up paper towels. These bagels are the ones that I like to eat. I don't like everything bagels. I know that's not a popular opinion, but they're just not my thing. And then I picked up these little muffins for my kids. And then yogurts galore. So this is my favorite yogurt. I like all of the flavors. I picked up a few vanilla and a few honey and a few strawberry. And then these are my husband's yogurts and he loves these, he says they, they're so good. And I picked him up probably like 12 of these. For a quick, easy meal, probably tonight, we're gonna do, I have these little tacos. And then for some of my lunches, I like to add these in, especially if I make a sandwich when I am at work. So I bought two of those, and then this bag is just filled with yogurts, yogurts, yogurts. And I said I got paper towels, and that is it. So I'm gonna quickly try to get all this stuff put away, and then I will start tidying up the house. Okay guys, now it's time to do all of the things. And excuse me, this whole video, I have a huge bruise on the side of my thigh, and you see it in the whole video. Just wanted to get that out of the way. I bump into things all the time and I just get bruised. It happens. But, okay, so first I am going to clean out the refrigerator. Um, our refrigerator is, uh, I try to clean it out quickly before every grocery haul. So this isn't going to be like a deep clean, but I'm going to show you the before. Um, this is how it looks before we go grocery shopping. And then I'm going to fill it up with all of the things. So, um. Like I said, we do this every single week because we grocery shop every single week. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys weekly grocery shoppers, bi-weekly grocery shoppers, what's your grocery shopping schedule? We have to go every week.
Um, this day I had so much to do. I felt so overwhelmed, but it really helps to just jump in and get started. Um, I know sometimes when you have a to-do list a mile long, you just are like, I don't even want to start it, but just simply getting started. Before this, I watched um, a cleaning video and that got me motivated and I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. So sometimes even just popping on a cleaning, cleaning video will give me that little extra motivation to get all the things tackled on my to-do list. Now that I've made my way to the living room, this is just regular living. Our living room looks like this several times a day and I'm just going to tidy it up, put all of the things away and just get everything looking nice and neat. On this day, my in-laws were coming for a visit, um, so I just wanted to have everything tidied up before they got here. As you saw, my little Brookie was helping me out. Now I've made my way to the downstairs bathroom. I am just going to clean that and tidy it up as well. Um, just make sure I clean the toilet. All of that stuff when people are coming to your house that you need clean. Um, the toilet, make sure you empty the trash. I'm actually gonna use one, that Dollar Tree I used in my last cleaning video, that Dollar Tree um, uh, glass spray. It works so good, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna have to go to Dollar Tree and get me a couple of bottles because it was so good. I also wiped down the door. I have a three-year-old, so sometimes you just gotta get low and wipe all of the stuff that they touch. As you can see, there's like dirt on the wall, dirt on the door. So I wind up doing that in this video as well, just bending down and wiping all of those little surfaces that their little sticky hands get all over. Next is trash, dishes, all of those things. Just trying to get as much checked off my to-do list as I possibly can um, to set myself up for success for the week ahead. Um, if You guys will be watching this video on Friday, so I hope it gives you some weekend motivation to get a space cleaned in your home so that you set yourself up for success for your weekend. Um, it, nothing feels better than just having a tidy home that you don't have to 
find things, go in and pick up stuff, do all of that stuff. So I was just happy to get all of this stuff checked off my to-do list. If you made it this far in my video, I want to tell you guys thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, my name is Dream. I am a mama of two and I love making cleaning motivation and everything that has to do with home decor. And if you love that content, don't hesitate to join my YouTube family. I would love to have you join um, this journey of mine. Um, fall is one of my favorite holidays. Actually, I decorate for all of the holidays, so I will have tons of fall cleaning and decorating motivation coming up on my channel very, very soon. And here we are tackling laundry. I don't know about you guys, but my laundry baskets are never empty and I am always doing laundry with having a little family of four. So just getting some of that laundry checked off my to-do list so that I can move on to the next thing. And by this point in the video, I am exhausted, I am tired. It is over 100 degrees outside and I am outside painting pumpkins. But this is something that I wanted to get done and I'm so happy that I did get it done. So when it's time to come decorate, I wanted to do some orange pumpkins. So I just bought some cheap pumpkins from Walmart. I also used some that I have already had and I painted them the orange color that I like. It actually took me like a five or six step process to get the color that I wanted, but I eventually did. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I got so much done. I hope it motivated you guys to get a ton of stuff um, checked off your to-do list. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.